the Sierra Madre. Beauty, isn't she? Is she the one who invited you here? Or maybe you didn't catch her voice on the radio. Woke up confused like some of the others. At least you're still breathing. By the way, don't get up or make any sudden motions, no matter how uncomfortable that chair gets. The cushion's just for show. Might be a bit rude, but that chair you're sitting in, it's got a shaped charge in the seat cushion. Get up without my permission. I'll blast your ass so far through your head, it'll turn the moon cherry pie red. So, let's keep this sweet and polite, and finish our conversation with no misunderstandings. And that's what I've missed, a rapt audience. Just because I work in entertainment doesn't mean I'm a moron. I heard my necktie beeping. I know what that means. I'm part of this somehow. I want out of this contract. And if you put me in it, I'm not going to be too happy. So whatever's going on here, if you're part of all this, you're taking orders from me. Good, then we're in business. I may be a betting man, but I like it when the odds are in our favor. If you're here with who I think, then I'd rather have you on my side than his. And it's in the hole. You want to live, I want what's in the madre. Real simple. All right, all right, but you already got company, so tell you what. I'll meet you at the fountain. Don't have to take the long way back. There's a shortcut across the way, you see. It's through the cloud, but if I'm with you, I can help you through it. If you didn't already force the lock to the gate. Didn't think much of our chances. Now I'm thinking I was wrong. What's the next step? You powered the holograms up? Well, yeah, that's pretty good protection. Sure worked at the fountain, Vera kept the ghost people away. But uh, how do I know the power won't suddenly go out and... I don't know, this still sounds risky to me. For me. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You didn't have to switch on those holograms, and you did. Even when you first showed up in the villa, you didn't threaten me. You were just willing to cooperate to get through this. <laughs> All right, look, if the holograms are here to keep me company, then I don't mind staying here for a while. But listen, when this thing goes off, Try and get into the Sierra Madre without me. You'll wish you hadn't. Finally, a friendly face. Hey, partner, up here. They're in a bit of a predicament here, had to duck backstage, take a powder. The audience is a little murderous tonight. No idea. Woke up here, thought I was dreaming for a second. Right back on the stage, the mic. Thought I was back at the fronds. Well, except no audience used to pack theaters back then. So... Stepped up on the stage, checked things out. 
Then suddenly, holograms walked out of the wings. They started raising their hands to their heads, all creepy-like. Not a good sign. Look, those ghosts are going to come out of the wings behind you in a second. The security types, not the friendly, bald types. And if you got in here, the door's probably locked tight behind you. So don't back up or run for the exit. You're not going to make it. Trust me, as soon as you can, run to the door to the left. Use the key you got out of the music rag there and camp out. As bad as things are, it's going to get a lot worse if either of us pops. So get backstage until we get a better plan. What? Oh, uh, my left. Your right. So, yeah, run to the door on your right. <laughs> Almost got you killed there. Us killed there. Uh, right. Uh, let's see. When you get the door open, there'll be an exit door dead ahead. Don't take it. It's most likely filled with toxins from the vents, so hug the wall. Make as much space between you and the door, or it's cloud nine in a casket. Past that is my dressing room. Under the table, there's a footlocker. It's tucked back a bit, so you might miss it. Inside, a gun, some ammo. Not much help against the ghosts. Still, if you're about to give up, call it quits. Throw it to me, so I can eat a bullet first. Yeah, y yeah, so what? We got bigger problems with the holograms. No, uh, no, wait, you're right. The theater piped music and sound backstage, which means those little squealers are in the corridors back there too. Uh... Let's see. Um, once you break right, watch each turn in the corridor. One will be on your right, past my dressing room, and up. Oh, uh, my dressing room. May have left the radio on, right by the table. Uh, if you could just shut it off instead of blowing it a... Uh, never mind. And there was a speaker in the prop room, too, on the wall between the entrances. And, well, walk slow. There's bound to be more. The speakers are all controlled by a central console. It's the farthest from the only door out of here, so you'd need to do a full circuit of the corridor to get to it. Once there, you'll need to shut it down, and I don't have the code. If you have the code, you can turn off all the speakers, make them settle down. Getting backstage should buy us time, just take it slow. Yeah, yeah, right. So, let's see. Security's here because the show hasn't started. Guests aren't allowed in, so... Guess we need to start the show. <clears throat> okay, so when they were setting this place up, we had rehearsals. And uh, <laughs> Sinclair even set up hologram recordings of the shows so we could watch and critique our performances before a fake audience. Whatever. Thing is, when the recording queued up, a nice, calm, appreciative audience appeared in the theater. No security with their head blasting zap rays. So, find the music, get it to the projector room upstairs, then play it. Might reset security with a shot. The holotape should be where I left it. No, no wait. It's, uh, it's in Vera's dressing room, probably. May, maybe a key to her room on my desk. 
Anyway, snag the key out of my room and look around Vera's room. The holotape has to be there. As for getting it to the projection booth, well, sometimes Vera used to watch from the projection booth, so she must have had a master key. Look around her room. Might be there. Do I have to spell it out? Come on. Time's wasting, and those holograms are going to be on us any second. Good. Go. And don't get yourself killed. Do that, and we're both done. German. Something's gotta give. Now, deal with the ghoul. This has gone on long enough. Nice job. Good thing I was distracted. They're a good team. I run the show, I do run the box office. Oh, those electric ghosts aren't the kind of audience I like at the best of times. At least the ones in the villa had manners. Don't even know how I ended up here. Guess the casino still recognizes guests, even after all this time, huh? <laughs> How's that for history?
Yeah, now. Talk about a captive audience. Or captive entertainer. Eh, whatever. Look, I'm more about the short goodbyes than long, thankful speeches. But I appreciate you bailing me out of a tight spot there, partner. I know you didn't do it out of the goodness of your heart. So let me give you something a little more practical. A way we both come out ahead. I'm not an idiot. I know the reason I'm in here now is because of the old guy. And you. And you're wearing a collar, so I trust you a little more than the old guy. He's more controlling than I'd like. Thing is, here's where being my partner pays off. See, I know how to get into the casino vault. There's a private elevator, Sinclair's elevator. It's up in the executive suites in Vera's room. Not a coincidence. Vera. She was my other partner before the bomb. Took some legwork. Some convincing made it happen. Sinclair was already puppy-eyed, so all I had to do was the introductions. She smiled, fluttered her eyes, showed a little leg, and he built this whole place for her. Made her the key to his vault, like a joke, because of her name. Her fake Hollywood name. Except Sinclair didn't know I'd been there first. I could twist her whatever direction I wanted. All she had to do was get inside the Sierra Madre for the gala, then use her voice to open the door. After that, smooth sailing would have been the biggest heist in history. Sinclair left holding the bag, ruined. The bomb. Vera got sealed in here. A few hundred years go by, give or take. Almost the end of the story. Then you came along. Now we finish the job. Rob the Sierra Madre, rip out its heart. Last chapter of Frederick Sinclair. Close the book. Problem? All high and mighty. Lording it over everyone. Acting so self-righteous, like nothing could touch him. He was the one with the problem. Never got mad at anything. Nothing seemed to shake him. Even after... His life kept getting dragged through the dirt. Always kept looking for the bright, shining future in everything. So... I decided to take everything from him. Do to me. What, weren't you listening? He thought he was better than me. Don't believe me? Look around. This big casino, this big colossal monument. Think it was for some woman? No. All ego, all self-righteous and lights fit him perfect. Had to take him down a few pegs, bring him down to my level. Begin again? Some things you don't get up from. I was going to prove it. I didn't know at first. Then the old man showed up. You showed up. Then that woman showed up, covered in scars. The one who makes all the hand signs, a little tight around the corners of her mouth. I put her in the clinic, tuned her like an instrument. If she heals up, 
it's not going to be her voice speaking anymore. That is, if the Sierra Madre didn't get her. If it did, well, there's enough of Vera around for me to spend a few years piecing a book together. Then she can make some beautiful music. I'm not banking on it. So here's the short of it. Piece together Little Miss Vera Key's song in the right order. Sierra Madre opens its legs with invisibus. Go, knock yourself out. I'm just gonna catch my breath a bit. That performance, well, more pressure than I was expecting. Not going to be performing here again, that's for sure. This place is a dump of lousy acoustics. Another fragment. Good. Almost have the entirety of what I need from the music archives. Once you have... 
which you can thread the archives together at the main full terminal. Find the mute and deal with her. She's somewhere on this floor. Floors buzzing with emitter signatures. Watch out for holograms. If it's who I think it is, this is Christine. Recovered. In what looks like an old world hotel room. High class. Two rooms. Exit sealed. All doors are locked down. Security's activated. And emitter signals are lighting up all over this floor. I'll do what I can from here. Floor's got holographic security. Not latest tech. Field of view targeting systems. Primitive. Familiar. guests screaming to be let out, to let go. Sinclair, is that you? Sinclair? Sinclair, I'm trapped. Please. Oh god, the security systems won't let me out. They're keeping me here. I'm going to die here, amongst the ghosts. I... I'm still being recorded by the holographic system. I came so far to tell you. Now... Now I just want to leave. Please. Let me leave. We all pay for what we've done. I'm so sorry, Sinclair. Sorry, I... I should have trusted you. Sinclair? Sinclair, where did you go? Why did you leave me here? Why? Sinclair! Sinclair! Guests. Security systems won't let me out. They're keeping me here. I'm going to die here. Ghosts. I... I'm still being recorded by the holographic system. Done. 
I'm so sorry, Sinclair. Sorry, I... Did you leave me here? Why? Sinclair! Sinclair! The doors, they... They sealed. I... I can hear the other guests screaming to be let out. To let go. Sinclair, is that you? Sinclair? Sinclair, I'm trapped. Ah, the security systems won't let me out. They're keeping me here.
can hear the other guests screaming to be let out, to let go. I'm so sorry, Sinclair. Sorry, I... I should have trusted you. Trapped, please. Oh god, the security systems won't let me out. They're keeping me here. Sinclair. Sorry, I... I should have trusted you. Let go. Let go what? Sinclair? Sinclair, where did you go? Why did you leave me here? Why? Sinclair! Sinclair! Guests screaming to be let out. To let let go. Sinclair, is that you? Sinclair? Sinclair, I'm trapped. Please. Oh god, the security systems won't let me out. They're keeping me here. I'm going to die here. Security systems won't let me out. They're ke keeping me here. I'm going to die here. I'm so Amongst the ghosts. I'm still being recorded by the holographic system. I came so far to be here. No. No, I just want to leave. Please. Let me leave. We all pay for what we've done. I'm so sorry, Sinclair. Sorry, I... I should have trusted you. No. Sinclair? Sinclair, where did you go? Why did you leave me here? Why? 